Hello everyone, Macho Acorn here, and today, um, I'm attempting, this is gonna be like, uh, attempt number two for Hardcore Minecraft, so, yeah, if we all remember what happened last time, let's just say, uh, usual, Creeper ruined the run, so, now I'm gonna try again, this time, I think I'm in a better spawn this time, so it should, shouldn't be that bad like last time, let's see how, we're, what we're gonna be working with here, shouldn't run. That's one of the habits I need to stop breaking. I need to break in a hardcore playthrough. Is that um, running does not help anybody, especially in my case. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I could get far, but what's that over there? Could be a shipwreck. But um, yeah, running is not a very good uh, option, especially if I'm wanting to survive a little longer. So I'm gonna check over here because it looks like we got like some cave-like places. Ooh, that one could be probably a good start for the farm and whatnot. But um, yeah, so what my plan is is that I'm gonna try to find like maybe a cave or something that I can inhabit. Oh, oh. it's kind of big though. All right, so let's see. Something I could work with on this. Because to be honest, at this point, I don't want to build houses anymore. Not especially when you got like creepers and stuff roaming around. Hmm. I mean, this would be nice, but I'm going to need to like. I don't know. Like, I need to find a good cave like structure or something. Cause these are just like way, way too big. Like, no way I could really build anything out of that. But the goal is still the same, nonetheless, like last time. What I want to do is that I want to try to find um, sheep to get the wool so I can make a bed. Uh, make a home, because you need shelter of some sorts if you're going to get into this. And um, maybe start off the farm, so at least I have a farm started up. Uh, this would be sort of perfect, if more for the fact that that's... Uh Just a in like just a non. Oh, what's this? You know what? Uh oh. There we go. I think I found uh, my potential home here. Perfect. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna be living like a dwarf. But you know what? This is fine because this will be a good protective home. Number one. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to see things well, but then again, you know, it's, you got to start somewhere. So, that being said, I think we're going to go ahead and just try to fix this thing up a little. Um, let's see. Yeah, just kind of fix this thing up a little. But uh, Alright, let's, let's just go ahead and get into the mining, and then we're going to go ahead and try to uh, get some things started. See, so, yeah, one thing I will admit... That's probably not smart about this, is that I am kind of in a foresty area, so mods, or mobs, I'm going to most likely spawn, up, spawn in, but um, I got a plan, because what I'm thinking about doing at some point is making a mob spawner, whether I try to do it out of the mountain itself or some other way, who knows, but I will try to make one so that it can help me in the long run of trying to fight back against these uh, entities, so to speak. Alright, let's see. Um, where would I, I'll just put it right here for now. Um, let's see. I'm gonna probably warn that. And what we're gonna do here is make a good couple of mining, mining tools. Uh oh, and then that's But that's fine, because I want to actually make like a stone axe rather than a wood axe. Oh, an apple. That hardly ever happens. Alright, let's see. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and try to mine this out into what I want it to be as a home. Yep, this is already starting to seem like a good idea. I 
But now this is kind of what I was wanting to go for last time, but I was like, you know what, I can make the best of it, or at least try to, but then of course, I knew I should have done a dirt hut. I don't know why I did, that was in the back of my head the whole time, I was like, you know what you should have done, just done a dirt hut, but I was like, nah, I want to try to at least make this look interesting or nice, and then Creeper came, so yeah, that's the reason why I tend to try to just do something as simple as this at first. I could build a house over time, just not right now. Uh, I don't know if I want to do a double door, just do a single door. It'd probably be smarter to do a single door, but I don't know. Double door sound nice, too. Um, I got enough to make a furnace, so I could probably do that real quick. Make a little furnace. So we can get that started and underway. Just one, at least for now. Yeah, so... Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of stone pickaxe, or at least make a stone axe at first. This is probably going to need a good a bit of wood. And then when I get done getting the wood, then I can turn around and, um... Yeah, I'm only going to have enough one pickaxe, but that's fine. That'd be a good start. So, uh, I'm trying to think. Um... I'll just keep an eye out for sheep. Don't see any right now. But I'll just go ahead and keep an eye out for them. Hmm. That's something I gotta think about too, is that... Um, what am I gonna do for the farm, or how am I gonna do the farm? Because if I had to do the farm, it's gonna be a good walk, so... I have to think about that. That looks more mountainous. Plus, I got this cave to worry about near the entrance. So, let's see. Let's just cut some trees down real quick and I'll get to that point when we get to it. See coal right there, that'd be a good start to get. So at least we got one of the uh, goals set and done, which was getting a house or starting up a house. So you can say that that's a check mark on that. But now I need to do uh, farming and of course uh, getting sheep for wool. Is that a diamond over there? Nah, that's gotta be one of those like low plant things. I already know where there's a diamond right there. Or probably one of those copper. Yeah, now I will say that that was kind of a sad run, not gonna lie. Not a very uh, good start. I mean, I lasted an hour, that's nice, but to be honest, it would have been better if it was like, I don't know, longer than an hour. I was hoping it, I was like, I was even like all excited getting ready for a whole series and then boom, the creeper popped up. I guess that's life. myself killed though by a creeper because I was too focused on cutting a tree down but then again it's gonna be good to get rid of these trees because that's what kind of helps mob spawn in is when there's uh, enough darkness for them to pop up which is why I need to also work on getting me the coal and one that's so I could get a uh, little torches made so when the night falls if I had to hide in my base I at least got some kind of sense of uh, a light source to keep the mods out or mobs out I don't know why I keep calling them mods so we're confusing them with Mods and mobs. They're, it's called mobs. Right, let's, let's see. Oh, okay, little cave opening right there. Alright, luckily that's a smaller one. And I see a creeper. You know what? I'm glad this one's a smaller one compared to the. Oh, the sun setting. Okay. 
So I will say we didn't get sheep yet, but then again I didn't see one yet, so that's not that's not bad because like I said I got some coal, so I can at least oh, there's some more coal up there. Do I want to risk it? You know what? I think I can get down in time. I think. You know nah, I don't think I want to risk that. It's a bit of a climb. I need to make a chest, if anything. Um, like I said, I just don't know if I want to do it a double wide or not on the house design, but... Okay. Do it kind of like that. Um, let's find some dirt. And just block a hole in the entrance. Or, oh, you know what? This one's better. Because then at that point, if a skeleton pops up, uh, they won't be able to shoot us. So, there we go. Um, let's see. Where am I going to put this at? Yeah, you can't hang it upside down, so let's put it... One right there, and another one just across from it. There we go. Yep, I'd say that's pretty nice. We don't have anything to cook right now, but then again, I mean... I don't really have any things, so... I'm gonna go ahead. Do I have enough wood? Yeah, I got enough wood. I'm gonna go ahead and try to go ahead and make some. Uh, maybe make like a door. Yeah, I'm gonna probably make like a little door real quick. I do need to figure out what kind of door do I want to make though, because I know they got birch doors. They got um, the oak doors. There's even other kinds of doors from different places. So. I guess that's the big question, is what kind of doors do I want to make? I mean, the oak door looks kind of cool, but so does the birch. In my honest opinion, I'd like the, I would like a, a stone door, but they don't have a stone door. I think that'd be fitting for my... Um, where I'm at, but then again, I could always turn around and work with some, um, like, redstone, and make, like, a little stone door of my own, so, who knows, I just, I'll figure out something from there, I mean, because, like I said, for right now, dirt can be uh, an alright little setup here, just have some dirt kind of block the, the path, keep uh, things out, It's going to be kind of boring waiting like this, so that's why I was hoping to make a bed, because now we're going to have to wait a bit before we can do anything. But yeah, the game plan is, is that I'm going to try and basically be better at planning a little. I can get rid of that. I don't think anything's going to jump through easily like that. But yeah, the game plan is, is that I'm going to try to, uh, for this episode at least, like, try to get the farm started and get sheep, which the sheep part... Probably not going to take as long as the farming. The farming one is where, but then again, where I'm at, it could be shorter, is uh, the one I want to focus on because I can bring dirt up, or cut the dirt out and then bring water up, and even if the dirt, or the water, I mean, I don't know why I keep saying dirt, but, and when I bring the water up, and even if it's like, it's like flowing into a center, so to speak, and then that little center is like small, I can always make it get bigger with a bucket, so it's not a big deal if uh, I got to do it like that. But no, I'd say so far so good. It's not too bad. I mean, I haven't died to a creeper yet. Though we did just see a creeper in the cave not too long ago, so I'm kind of scared of that. But that is another thing, too. I need to work on getting armor. Whether it be leather... Well, I mean, I don't know. Leather's not that great of armor. But whether it be leather or something. Like, just something for a bit of extra protection. So it gives me just that inch of life left for me to, like, make it. To survive. Just in case something like that were to happen again. To be honest, I think if I had a bit of armor on me, I wouldn't have died, like, that badly. Especially when if I could have just backed up, and run, backed up and run away. I think even if I backed up in that moment, I still would have probably died. Whether it be from the fall damage or from the explosion itself. Maybe a mix of both. So... Yeah, last uh, last one definitely was my fault. I will admit that because I was just, like I said, I was too hyper-focused on the tree instead of, like, going, wait a minute, is there a creeper or something near me? And I didn't check. So, yeah, that was definitely on me on that one. Definitely uh, sparked that little meme back that was uh, going on for a little while in 2020 with the whole uh, creeper. 
song that was done by Captain Sparkles. Which is funny because I don't think I ever listened to that song until 2020 when it came around and the meme was like just becoming popular for no reason. Like even I was just sitting there like, I mean I guess it ain't for no reason, but it's like I was just sitting there like, why is something that was done back in like I think 2014 it was? I could be wrong on that one. And you know now it's like popular because I guess the whole like creeper. So it's funny either way. I mean I like I liked it. It was so good. I listened to the whole song. It was funny, and I can I can kind of. Uh, agree with some of it because it does feel like that when you especially when you get to especially kill a creeper for the first time it feels like you're doing pretty good oh come on daylight i wonder in hardcore mode they make the daylight last longer than uh or not the daylight but the nighttime lasts lasts a little longer than the than the daytime which makes it where you want to get a bed so that you can just skip it that would suck but it would make sense too i guess because it makes it to where you're going to want to be careful during the day or make sure you do everything you can during the day because if nighttime comes around, you're done for. So, if you're especially caught out in the open. This may be stupid, but I'm going to check something out real quick. I don't see nothing. Still doesn't mean I want to go out and mess with anything. Are you kidding me? We're only in the middle of the night now? I mean, it's probably not exactly in the middle because it'd be, like, right up there, but still, it's like, man. Taking this time, isn't it? I mean, I guess I could try going up there, but I don't know. I'm kind of tempted on that. Like I said, I remember what happened last time with that creeper. It's kind of got me ingrained in my mind to maybe not be so bold, but you know what? Fortune favors the brave. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah. Oh. oh my gosh, that was like a fucking jump scare, dude. That, that scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. I'm at two heart. I'm at two heart. No. I mean, apple. I'll save the apple. I, I, I. I got plenty of help right now. Oh my god, you don't, y'all, oh my god, that, that, f that scared me, that scared me, I'm not gonna lie, that, that, that just came out of freaking nowhere, dude, I was just, I was like, fortune favors the brave, and then boom, freaking it pops up and gets me. Oh boy. Yep, I'm really in it now. And what scares me is that this happened before, like, it, it, but it wasn't due to, uh, I don't think anything attacking me at one point. I think I just simply kept falling enough and it caused my character's health to go down this way, so. Oh, my gosh. At least it wasn't a creeper. But just imagine, one kill, at one, at one point I get killed by a creeper in one playthrough, and then this playthrough, oh, he dies to a skeleton. That what's the, and then what's the next one going to be? Zombies? And then Endermen? And then the freaking Endermites? Or not even just Endermites, but the freaking Silverfish? Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to make sure I got stuff ready and whatnot when it comes to the end game goal, which the main end game goal is to finish the game in hardcore mode, meaning that i got to actually get to the end and everything. Which... After that, I don't know if that's going to be possible, but I'll try. That's the point of Minecraft Hardcore is that I got to try. I got to, I got to persevere. Persevere. I got to push through. Well, luckily the daylight's come, coming. Not coming fast enough, but it's coming. That just sucks because I didn't see him. Like he just—he wasn't anywhere on that side of the mountain unless he literally sensed my character. Like they got that sensing radius, and he like jumped down. Yeah, died, died. That sun—the sun jump scared you too. I don't think he's dead. 
Oh, but you're dead. I you're still alive. I don't see him. Alright, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna trust that uh, you did, maybe. Yeah, like, he had to been, like, somewhere around there because he dropped down and, because I was trying to mine this when he was, I was trying to mine this when he got to me, like, oh my goodness. Not gonna lie, I think skeletons are one of the few mod mobs in this game I don't like. I mean, zombies are not that bad in all honesty. Zombies are pretty easy to handle, as long as you know what you're doing, but skeletons, creepers, Endermen are alright, yeah. Endermen are easy. I mean, I know some people hate Endermen too because there have been a couple times they'd do that, like, they'd accidentally, like, look into its eyes somehow and then it'd kill them, but. Ugh. But nothing is like the freaking, uh, skeletons and the creepers. Because creepers come out of nowhere and kill you, and so do the skeletons, sort of. Platformer Minecraft. I know it's up here somewhere. Did I go too far up? I swore I saw some, uh... Oh, there it is. But you know what? I'll go ahead and make it to where I can have a path that leads me up here. So if I want to take a look further up, I can. Can't be a master of the mountain if you're not able to go up there. Okay. There's pigs. Okay. Alright, so we got pigs. There's gotta be sheep somewhere. I see some uh, silver right there, or iron. I don't know why I said silver. But uh, yeah, they got some iron right there. Um, I want to get that uh, coal first, so let me just do that. I'm going to get the coal first, and then I'll get the iron. I don't know how I can do it, too. I just have to be careful. I may need to kill these pigs because I need the food. I should try farming them, but I don't think farming is an option right now. one down. Probably should have tried saving those apples too because if I found gold I could have uh, made some golden apples but sometimes you gotta break a couple eggs to uh, make an omelet. Where did the pig go? There's two up here. I think it's hiding because I killed his buddy. Yep. Yep, there he is. Alrighty. I need to get back down and get that coal real quick. Before I forget what I was coming up here for. I hate it when my character tries to automatically run. Like that. Okay. It's a vein too. That's good. Oh yeah, I if you do hear a little fan in the background, that's probably my computer just doing its thing to keep it cool so the system works fine or 
works functionally. That's if you hear it. I mean, I know I hear it, but if you if I hear it, sometimes you'll hear it. If y'all don't, then that's that's good. So, I don't need it no more. Alright, I think I could probably just, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to say, I'm hoping I got enough dirt for this, but I could probably get to that, uh, so that di um, iron, which. The reason why I wouldn't mind getting the iron is because I can use shears to get the uh, sheep's wool. Plus, there's also some more coal over there. And if I could reach that, that would make things a little more um, easier for me. That's the only reason why I don't try to do these like like tricky uh, what do you call them like systems where they try to like maneuver around like these problems like that. I mean, honestly, I don't even like doing this, but if you want to get stuff, you got to get it somehow. That's not too bad start. Um, there was some... Another pig. There was some... Coal, though. Don't know where it's at. Hmm. Where's the coal at? It's not coal. Hold on. I gotta see where it's at. Oh, uh, it's further down. Alright. Maybe I could do a separate uh, bridge. bit of coal. Yep. Alright, so I guess now the real objective here is to go ahead and get uh, some sheep. So the only question is, where are the sheep? Mm -hmm. How late is it? It's getting close to being late. Do I got enough time that I could probably run there and then run back? Especially know where the path is. I don't know, though. Is it worth the risk? Because I can see one of two scenarios happening. Either, hey, I'm not going to find anything and this is going to get dark and I probably will run into more issues. Or I can just go ahead and uh, head back now and I won't run into those issues. Again, if I want to make sure I can skip sun or sundown um, or going to sleep, I don't like this. Other skeleton. Oh, that was a pig. I don't know. It's just it's skeleton. I don't think I want to. I think the skeleton gave me a good idea on why I maybe not want to go running around, especially in these little forests, because. Funnily enough, these trees will protect the mobs, even though it doesn't look like they have much shadowing to them. It's enough shadowing to protect them, so I could die, basically, because one of them are hiding right underneath the trees. So, I think this is good enough uh, influence to make me go like, you know what, nah, I think I'm just going to head back. It's a, I mean, it was a nice prospect, but, uh, no. 
if I go and uh, try to go get a sheep now, it's going to get dark. And I can already tell you, I'm probably not going to make it in time and thus will die before I even get back. Okay. Probably need to leave a torch here. I got one. Nope, I don't. But I do need to probably leave like torches in places where I do leave like little like pathways so I can find myself back if I ever need to. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and head back now because at this point it's another waiting game. Uh. Okay. I really wish that there were sheep around, but I just don't see any. Kind of sad too, because I mean, in the other one, it was perfect because it had like sheep and everything laid out, so I could perfectly make a bed and just kind of sleep it through. But now, I can't find sheep anywhere. But you know what? I guess that'll be the next goal for when uh, the morning comes, getting some sheep. For the time being, I can go ahead and um, number one, furnace some uh, iron. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to make with that iron. Do I want to go ahead and make an axe or just make a pickaxe? But with four, I think I can go ahead and make some iron boots, which, I don't know, I mean, iron boots are not much of a... What do you call it? Like, much of an upgrade? So, I don't know. Uh, yep, now the dreadful night comes. I think I'm just going to pause the uh, video uh, um, recording here. But uh, when I come back, uh, it will be daytime and we can just continue. So we're not having to waste time waiting for my, um, for my character. Like, I don't know, so that we're not wasting time having to sit here waiting for the sunlight. And so you guys are not bored watching a video that's just me waiting for it. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm just going to do real quick. Alright, it's about to be morning. I think I may do that for now, and that's a lot easier than having to make you guys wait, and also it's easier on me to not have to edit it out or have to wait myself, or at least if I gotta wait, I can at least pause it. Oh, no, 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 no. I just saw a skeleton, and I saw an enderman looking straight dead at me. And what sucks is that I made this place tall enough for an enderman to teleport into and kill me if it wanted to. All right. Yep, I see that. I see him right there. Mocking me. Knowing that if I step outside, I'm gonna die. I forgot the thing got done. Alright, um... Let's cook the pork chop real quick so I at least have some, I literally got a, a skeleton harassing me outside my house. And he's hiding underneath the trees. That's gotta be one smart skeleton, that's all I got. Uh, there's two of them! There's two of them! This is ridiculous. What am I gonna do? If I run outside, I'm just gonna get, I'm gonna get poked. By arrows. Real quick. 
I think 20 torches would be a good start. Save the rest for later, maybe put it in the, uh, there we go, put it back in there. Um, I don't know, because, like I said again, I don't have enough, um, to make armor. Yeah, see, I only got enough to make this kind of armor. And, let's be honest here, what use is that going to be? And I would make an axe, but am I really going to try to take on a skeleton with just my bear skin and, uh, well, as bear skin as it could be, and axe? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, man, come on. I was supposed to go out and look for some sheep. I'm kind of scared to do that now. Die. Stop coming up to me. I hate you so much. I really do. I hate skeletons so much. Wait a minute. Is it possible? Hold on. Is it possible? Wait a minute. Yes. I'm doing it. I go into debt. Alright, let's see. Uh, this one here. Alright, and you know what? Making it. Because at this point, this is a do or die situation, and we need to do. I am not sitting here waiting to go get sheep. I'm getting sheep now. Where you at? shield took a beating. That's fine though. I mean, it's not that costly to make them, so I can always make another one if I got to. Oh man, that was a that was a saver. I just can't believe I didn't think of that the first time. I was just sitting there like, what am I gonna do? I can't do it. And then I'm like, oh wait, shields. That's why they're in the game. All right, let's see. Um, all right, I gotta find some sheep somehow. One way or another, I gotta find sheep. I can't keep doing this. See some chickens. Maybe I'll raise some chickens later. But uh, okay. Let's see. Sheep, sheep, or some sheep. All right. Another thing I need to keep in mind too. I need to uh, be aware. Why are two eggs there? Um, I need to be aware. Oh, oh cow. But I need to be aware um. of creepers that they are around. I don't think it'd be smart to just run around and not expect a creeper. Oh, there's cows and chickens here. That is so nice. I mean, that's good and all, but I need sheep, so where can I find some sheep? What the... Oh, it's another uh, portal thing. Alright. Look at that. It's like a crater. Mm. And the fact that there's a thing here. I mean, at least there's another right here. I can go ahead and make me a big uh, lighthouse like torch thing. And there's some lava back over there. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'll come back for these later. I don't have a place for stuff like this right now. Plus, I'm more into uh, sheep hunting right now than I am, uh. than, um. Uh, messing with that. That's kind of cool. 
You know, that could be a nice little uh, housing place if I ever do another playthrough of some sort, maybe another um, Survivor Hardcore. Finding a place like that, that'd be nice. It's like a little pit with some water, but you can make a farm there, and you can, uh, and then with some lava, like right over here, it's like, you know, that's, that's not bad. Not a bad setup, setup uh, at all. But I need to find some sheep. I know that's a broken record thing to say, but I really, really cannot stress that I need sheep right now. I would rather sleep through the nights than have to deal with them. Plus, if I get the sheep thing down, then all I gotta do is turn around and start farming. And that's it. Uh, that's a sheep. That's a sheep over there. Uh, that's what I forgot to bring with me. Uh, and I left the iron too. I'm gonna make shears. But you know what? It's whatever. I just, I need, I'm like, just to sheep for a temporary time. And I gotta make sure I get them in the same color because I learned last time that if you get sheep in different colors, it will not work. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, basically, it will not count for some reason if the sheep are in different colors, basically. So, yeah, if you want to make the. Oh, bees. But if you want to make some famous, uh, the famous red bed that was the original Minecraft bed, then you have to kill a red sheep or at least dye the sheep's wool red. And if you want to get any other color, you're gonna, it's the same way, you just gotta dye it. Or just find the sheep of that color. And at this point, there should be just one wool, so we need to go ahead and kill some more and get more wool. And that should be it. <laughs> One more. Should do it. I don't like having to do that, but I really got no other options, dude. I was not going to make it if I had to go without a bed for another night. Plus, to be honest, this will make it easier on all of us so that all I got to do is just go to sleep and then uh, I'll just have a couple of minutes or well, not even minutes, but a couple seconds of uh, gameplay here. So, I probably should just run now or something. I don't know. I mean, I got enough energy to do it. Okay, so these are beats. And I would definitely want to get those at some point. Because I like bees in real life, and um, especially honeybees. And I think that would be cool to have. So, with that being said, let me go ahead and get back over here. Okay, so. I want to say if I follow maybe along the coast, I will to sure find the uh, place I was at. Yeah, I can see that was right. It's right there in the distance. Oh my gosh! See, look, see, that was perfect timing because look at that. It's already trying to sun go down. That sun's going down, so I need to go ahead and get back. Okay. I think it's all the way back over there. Now, what's not bad about me collecting those uh, chicken eggs is that um, I can always just hatch my own uh, chickens, so, and then breed them and whatnot, so that's why it's not so bad. Okay, I need to run. Yeah, I need to definitely run. I'm taking a luxury walk here, but I need to run, because at this point it's getting dark, and if the mobs spawn up, then I'm going to have to make a quick uh, creation of a bed to sleep in the woods with, which I don't think you want to sleep in the woods. Well, there's enemies nearby. Okay, so I should be able to get... Yeah, I think my place is not too far from here. I should be able to get... Yeah. I think it's not too far from here. Yep. And there it is. Alright. And... Safe. I like a left for dead play right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the bed made. I don't think it matters uh, what kind of wood you use. Uh, there we go. And this is why I need to cut the trees down too, now that I'm reminded. Because if I don't cut the trees down, then skeletons will just pop up. Now, I think that's another thing that's good about me sleeping like that, is that skeletons and them don't spawn in in the world like they would have if I stayed awake. The 
That's something I need to keep an eye on too, is creepers. I remember last time when I went to go do this kind of stuff, I was keeping my eye out for creepers and then a creeper came and killed me, so... My thing is, if I can at least keep the trees sparsed out, I mean, that should make it alright. Because that's the thing, is that when the trees are as closely compact as they are, it makes it hard for the skeletons to die because they're being shaded from the sun. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm probably going to head down here and, um, well, I guess I want to choose where I want to start farming. And I think I should just do it right here in this spot. Like, just remove all that sand and... Uh-oh. Which I don't think, uh, die in the sunlight, unfortunately. But now what I'm thinking about doing is I'll replace all the sand with dirt, which I don't know if I have enough. No, I don't. But I'm going to replace it with dirt so I can turn around and basically make this into a big farmland. I mean, if not that, maybe make this into a big sugarcane farm so I can go in and get started on making books. Probably a good idea. I thought that was a creeper for a moment. Oh boy. Luckily that was just a zombie. Why don't you come up here? Come on. You want to harass me? trying to think. I may go ahead and make an area over here for the... Like for the little uh, sugarcane farm. So, kind of do it like... At that point, I mean, that's going to be easier to do than trying to dig into a farm because then the water's going to be already kind of set up the way you want it.
See? Kinda like that. Oh my gosh, it's into the room. That's the only thing I gotta worry about too is uh, zombies and other things like Endermen and whatnot popping up. Isn't exactly the farm I was planning on doing first, but hey, you gotta start somewhere. Stalkers. with me and knows that I'm no I don't like it. figured out the way I wanted to be. Alright. to it. I can later, but uh, I think for now this is going to be a good start. Alright, now as for the um, dirt farm, we're using dirt. Um, to be honest, I could probably just start collecting dirt and adding on to like, maybe this part over here. Or in, like maybe as a little bridge of sorts that leads up to this, maybe? That's not a bad idea. Let me go ahead and grab the sugar cane here first, and then we'll done. So that's what I'll probably do real quick. Because that's another thing. I haven't been collecting wheat grass yet. Or wheat, uh, yet. Oh, it's a wandering trader. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. not be spitting at me. Alright, let's go ahead and get some seeds. Yeah, that's the thing is that these grass will randomly do seeds, so I gotta just hope I'm lucky and get that one grass that drops some seeds. May have to go into an open field for this, but we'll see. There we go. Now, I was thinking maybe I'll build a bridge, but along that bridge, like on the edge of it, I was going to make like a little uh, dirt path that's going to be made into a farm to help me. There was sheep right there? There was a sheep right there. Like, oh. Alright, well, you know what? Whatever. I made my bed. I'm happy, so we're good. Yeah, it's getting dark now, so let me go ahead and head back to my place real quick before it gets too dark. Because we all know what happens if I stay out too late. In this game. Not gonna lie, this game definitely puts into perspective get back before it gets too dark.
maybe they did that on purpose because uh, every child's uh, fear, at least for me growing up, was that you don't want to get back late. I guess we're getting this done way faster than uh, the first time around, so that's not bad. You know what? This would get done faster if I do it like this. underground and not outside. Okay, good. Yeah, I hate skeletons. Just as much as I hate creatures. I'm also trying to get enough dirt so I can cover up this uh, hole here. Because to be honest, that hole doesn't really lead anywhere. And it's kind of like a waste of space. will start up a big farm, but I mean, it just that's more of a time, over time kind of thing, and I'd rather try to get as big of a farm started as I can. There we go. I do want to probably look at covering up some of these um, things like this here, because if a monster spawns in, it can literally just turn around and kind of like start waltzing into the world, so I don't know. Kind of a thought. Alright, let's see. I wonder, do shields in this game protect you from the explosions of a creeper? That's obviously something I could. No, I don't think I want to experiment with that, but. Maybe if I had full armor, possibly, but I just. I know I definitely want to, don't want to get hit with that full armor on. I think we'll just uh, leave it at that, yeah. So. Alright. So, I need to figure out a bridge, because I want to be able to get to, like. I'm trying to. I don't know what I just thought I saw. I thought I saw like a creeper, or not a creeper, but an enderman or something there. So, yeah. Alright, so where's my house at? Okay, so maybe I want to lead it as like a path that goes from my house to there. So let's, yeah, we could probably just start it right here. Alright, now let's see. 
let's see. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and start it off simple. Like so. edit this later make it better but for now I'm just gonna do it as a as a simple little uh, thing that takes me from point A to point B I'll add like little uh, guardrails to it to keep uh, me from falling into the water I'll be building my little farm around this. Or I may even just build a farm right there. I'll probably just do that. Have it to where it leads to my other farm over here that's sugarcane farm. And then for the other main farm, it'll be right over here where the lands kind of sort of interconnect. This is the old fashioned way I know how to farm in Minecraft. I mean, I'm pretty sure things have changed over the years, but I just know this is the old fashioned way that I remember doing it. Future idea.
This is one I need to add to the farm later, but I might as well go ahead and build it now, because you never know. I gotta make a hoe anyways, because I don't have one. Keep an eye out for creepers, you never know. But, um, yeah, so I'll say this is uh, going well. I say, with that being said, I think, uh, yep, this is looking pretty good. Um, this is just for when I do get things kind of underway, but for now, I think this is a good start for the farm. I can always expand it out further this way. And, uh, yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, go over here and get started on the, uh, well, first, I need to go ahead and kind of, uh, head back into my little home real quick, because I gotta make me a hoe. Whether it be a stone or a, probably an iron, iron hoe probably the best because it'll last longer. Oh yeah, that's right, I don't have any more iron. I think I used it all on the, uh, yeah. Oh well, I can make me a stone. Just something real quick so I can get started on the farming. Luckily with the sugar cane one, I won't need that, but... Sugar cane, I won't need that, but the um, other farm definitely will. I may try to do a tree farm, but I could probably do that somewhere else.
being said, let's go ahead and till this land. And since this thing's gonna not have a lot, I'm just gonna go ahead and plant the seed. say this is a pretty successful episode, to be honest. I think I'll probably just wait until nighttime pops up to end it, so, because, you know, there's still other things I could go ahead and look at, plus, maybe real quickly I can go ahead and, um, make some chests in my house, probably even kind of reorganize my house, but that'll probably be the next episode's uh, focus, though, too, is I'm going to probably be, um, looking at reorganizing my house, maybe even covering up some holes like those over there to maybe fit for more of like if I want to go into those areas or just simply patch it up. Make sure nothing comes in. Alright. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and like uh, yeah create some chests real quick. Because to be honest it's a good thing to have more than one chest. That's why. So the trees, I'm going to save for later. Like I said, I'll do a tree farm at some point. Just going to wait until I can flatten out enough land to do so. I'm going to save these arrows for later. Bones, definitely for later, too. For reasons. Uh, egg and all for... Um, I need to cook that mutton. Let me do that real quick. Give me an E. Um... I may just go ahead and put some of the wood up too. I don't think I'm going to need any wood right now because since I'm going to become like a bit of a dwarf kind of living um, or living like a dwarf, I'd rather just go ahead and kind of um, keep everything like that. I'm going to keep the sand because I'm definitely going to make glass within the um, cave home-like thing I'm building. Um, I'd say the shovel is going to be kept because that goes along with the axe and all. I'm going to need it cobblestone I'm gonna try to cook and make that into whatever I need to make it into and this could be safe for like potions or whatever when I get to that point um, this can be for the farming going along with the trees and all so yeah. that being said I think this is pretty uh, well organized to make tools and tools themselves uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the. Okay, have most of my useless tools be put right over here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now everything's all set for where it needs to be. There we go. Go ahead and get some pork chop. I mean, this is, you know what, I'd say this is definitely a pretty good uh, start, not gonna lie. I mean, the other one was a pretty good start too, but then again, I knew a flaw that I was running into with that one, and that was, I didn't find a home, number one, I was still kind of running out in the open, like a, I don't know how you describe it, like somebody just frolicking in the fields, you don't want to do that. And um, besides that, I think the farming part where I was trying to build a farm took a little long than this one did. This one, I think, took a lot shorter because I actually, you know, did some critical thinking skills here. And I'd even say this time around, actually building a shield was a pretty smart move. If I hadn't have done that, I definitely would have died a lot more than I um, would like to like would like to admit. So, yeah, with that being said, I'd say this is a pretty good... Um, run so far. You know what, I'll go ahead and just end it here because at this point, you know, I'm probably going to be in the next episode building the house anyways, but if you guys like what you saw, like and subscribe. Like I said, uh, this is my second attempt and I say a good one at that. So, I'm probably still going to call this series, like this part of the series, uh, Hardcore Attempt Number 2, Episode 1. Just so that we know and it's kind of clear at this point, this is the second attempt, not the first. Because, let's be honest, um... That first one was pretty bad, so... Okay, let me go ahead and get the... Uh-oh, I didn't save the dirt. Okay, here we go. Um, you know what? Yeah, I was going into there, so... Yeah. 
Thank you guys for watching. Have a great one. Peace.